The F-22 Raptor is the most technologically advanced stealth fighter in the world, and its success can be traced back to the FB-22 bomber. The high cost of maintaining and upgrading the F-22 fleet led to its cancellation in 2009. Before the F-22 program was abandoned, there were indications that numerous separate Raptor models had developed from the program. For instance, the US Navy looked into the possibility of developing a naval version of the F-22 Raptor in the early 1990s. Furthermore, the Air Force considered developing a Raptor attack bomber variant in the early to mid-2000s. The Air Force thought about bringing this program back, but in the end, they decided to work on making a new long-range bomber instead. The United States Air Force initiated the Advanced Tactical Fighter Program in the 1980s to begin creating next-generation fighter aircraft to counter the growing threat posed by advanced Soviet fighters like the MiG-29 and the Su-27. Two prototype fighters, the YF-22 from Lockheed Martin and the YF-23 from Northrop, have been developed and advanced to the final round of the competition. The Air Force's next-generation air dominance fighter was the subject of a final design competition in the early 1990s. The YF-23-22 was chosen as the winner despite the YF-23 having somewhat greater range and stealth qualities than the YF-22. The Air Force decided to go with Lockheed's competitor instead of the YF-23, despite the YF-23's merits, because Lockheed had a better sales record and was seen as a better choice for program management. In 1997, the Raptor entered production, testing, and service. Although the Raptor program has had fewer cost overruns and fewer delays than the Navy's F divided by a minus 18E divided by F, it has still been much more expensive and less timely than the original plan. Although it started at the same time as the Raptor program, the Super Hornet project went off without a hitch, and by the time the Iraq War had begun, full combat production and operational service had begun for the Super Hornet. Concerns have been raised regarding the Raptor's price tag, and discussions have begun to form between the plane's proponents and detractors about how to objectively evaluate the plane's costs. In December 2010, the Congressional Research Service estimated the cost of an F-22 to be around $370 million. The Air Force could only buy a total of 187 F-22 Raptors when the program was cancelled in 2009. The FB-22 was suggested by Lockheed Martin as an improved variant of the F-22. Lockheed Martin began researching a significantly modified F-22 Raptor with significantly increased air-to-ground capabilities in 2002. All of this would be possible if the F-22's range could be doubled and its internal payload tripled. There were never any concrete plans to incorporate the FB-22 concept plane into the F-22 Raptor program. Air Force officials were quite thrilled about the prospect of an FB-22 program, with many seeing the plane as a potential game-changer for future ground forces missions requiring close air support. The FB-22 was designed to bridge the gap between the Air Fleet's current bomber force and future bombers due to its medium-range stealth technology. Some FB-22 concepts retained the F-22 Raptor's avionics while redesigning the fuselage and wings. Extended delta-shaped wings were planned for the FB-22, allowing the bomber to carry more fuel and ammunition. Based on the results of this study, the FB-22 might have carried up to 5,000 pounds of munitions, including a large number of tiny, precision-guided bombs. In addition, the FB-22 might have traveled up to 1,600 miles, whereas the F-22 could travel a little more than 600. An estimated 150 FB-22s were planned for the Air Force's future fleet, which the service stated would be much cheaper than building a brand new aircraft due to the possibility of using existing F-22 technology. The Department of Defense DoD, decided to pursue a long-range bomber during the 2006 Quadrennial Defense Review, thereby killing the FB-22 bomber program. Even though it was never put into action, the Air Force's plan to use the FB-22, an interesting concept for putting an existing aerial platform to good use to make up for a capacity deficit, was an intriguing one. <laughs>